debt is a commitment to an expense at a future date. We use the term for either a major expense or an ordinary one. Depending on the situation, the term financial commitment may refer to either a very long-term commitment or a one-off payment. The financial commitment may be to a supplier, a lender, other owners of a new company, or even a new member of the family. When we send a supplier a purchase order, for example, there is a financial commitment on our part. We pledge to pay on a specific future date if that supplier offers us payment terms. Some financial commitments may have an expiration date. Others, however, are ongoing and have no specific termination date. When a new company opens, its owners enter into a financial agreement with each other. Their commitments also extend to the business. Some owners may have a financial commitment to invest a regular sum into the company over a specific period. Others, on the other hand, may assume responsibility for some of the company's debts if it becomes insolvent. When a company is insolvent, it cannot pay its bills. If you apply for a loan and the bank approves, there are subsequently two financial commitments. The lender commits to giving you access to funds either immediately, at a certain date, or when you need it. You also have a financial commitment. Yours is to pay back the money that you have borrowed. Specifically, your commitment is to pay back according to the specifications in the contracts that you signed. Let's imagine that John and Mary's baby Julie was born today. The moment Julie was born, they entered into long-term financial commitment to raise their child, feed her, pay for her clothes, food, education, etc. When their daughter grows up, they may also help her buy her new home. This is a very long-term commitment. A financial commitment can have this meaning. In other words, a commitment to pay somebody's or something's expenses over a long period.